Okay, yeah, about a month ago, Luke the Notable gave me permission to put a twist on his 100 days in hardcore Minecraft series. And I tried to do it in VR. It, it did not go well. It, it, it was a total failure. But you know what? I said I was going to try again. And I did. They're breaking in. They're, they're, they're breaking down the door. So here it is. 100 days in hardcore VR Minecraft. My mans, here we are, back in VR, baby. 100 days ahead of us, and look, just look at me now. All right, and here it is. First thing I did, and I would, I would tell you that I went to a, I found a nice lake at, near a village and stuff, which I did and all, but to be honest, the, the very first thing I did when I got into VR, yeah, slapped a chicken's ass, okay? Boom! <laughs> I'm a psychopath. Come here. Who, let's, let's be honest here, who wouldn't? I, in, I, this chicken, 3D chicken in VR Minecraft. Of course I'm slapping that thing's ass. Come here, I need your meat. And once I was all done with that, th then, then I built my dirt house. On the second day, I explored the surrounding area. I got some coal and I did some mining, and can you believe it? I found enough iron to make a pickaxe and a sword. Pretty good for day two, if you if you ask me. Hey, day three. Well, day three, I just did some more mining, but it, you know what? It was pretty good because I found a ton of iron, enough to make nearly a full set of armor. And that's, oh, really good. Hey, I'm just gonna interrupt the video real quick right here to uh, beg for some subscribers. Yeah, I, I don't care anymore. I'm just, it's, I need them. And you know what? I'm not gonna stop there. I want some, I want, I want likes too, okay? I want as many likes as I can get on this video. And you know what? Comments too. I'm not stopping. Ooh, I'm gonna go even further. How about you? I got some t-shirts for sale. Yeah, I don't, I don't care anymore. Okay, you know what? Okay, there it is. After taking slightly more than the recommended dose of motion sickness pills, I was back on track with day four, mining and killing skeletons and zombies. Day five, I was, uh, I was a man on a mission to see what was in that village. Also, you know, to explore a little, because I hadn't really been doing that, and, uh, wow, I'm glad I did, because look, look what I found. Whoa! Holy crap! A sea turtle. I, I, I didn't even know there were sea turtles in Minecraft. And then, yeah, yeah. Of course I decided to build my house there. Are you kidding me? A, a house amongst sea turtles? I loved these guys. I loved them so much. Oh, day six. Yeah, normal day. Uh, I was, um, you know, just doing stuff. I went to the village. I, uh, I locked an armor guy into a house with a chicken. Uh, and, and you know what else? You know what else? I found goddamn diamonds, baby. Diamonds. Two of them. Hell yeah. I was feeling good that day. Okay, enough of that. Back to the island on day seven. I, I needed to I needed to name this island. I needed to come up with something good. And you, you know what? You know what? I, I think I got it. Turtle Park. They do move in hearts. On day eight, I still had not used my diamonds, and I decided that well, you know what I'm building with those things? You know what I'm using those for? Yeah, a sword. What else would I a pickaxe? God, no, not a pickaxe. No one's killing me with a diamond sword, okay? Not, not a single person. So that's what I made. Day nine. It was time to start building on Turtle Park. And uh, I didn't want to disturb the turtles, you know? It would kind of defeat the whole point of the park. So I decided to build my house on stilts. Does it make the house any safer? Yeah, you know, someone told me that it does, but I just don't understand how. Uh, but I'm more interested in the fact that it doesn't disturb the, the natural habitat of the turtles. Okay, they can still be there. I can be there. It's good. Day 10, more building in the hot, hot sun. At least I had a friend with me, Alfonso the Turtle. I love this man. Yeah, I built a bow because I'm not, I'm just, I, the cr creepers were scaring me, okay? The idea of one of these things sneaking up on me, I would, I, I would feel better if I had a bow so I could take care of them from a distance. And that's what I did on day 11. After 12 days, the, the frame of my house was done. And you know what? It looked, it looked pretty bad. Yeah, it sure it it kept it kept the turtles natural habitat in check so the pedo wouldn't come out But it, it just it, This is not how I'm gonna I'm not spending a hundred days in this thing So time to start building another house something more safe because this this is this thing isn't safe either a Creeper could just walk right up the stairs blow me to bits 
a challenge done immediately, just like that. Uh, but the only problem was building a new house meant no more Alfonso, you know? They say if you love something, let it... Let it free. Let it go. That's what I did with Alfonso. I had to say bye to him. Go! Get out of here, Alfonso! Go! Just get! Can't you see I don't want you anymore, you sweet-ass turtle? You shell. Go! Just go! Ugh, it was time to start getting resources again, and you know what? Yeah, I love doing this. I loved it. Okay, you know what was really hard about this whole thing? Keeping track of what happened every single day. Do you have- you can't write notes while you're wearing that big dumb headset. I can't just grab a piece of paper and a pencil. So you know what I did? I start, I tried to use Siri on my phone to log everything that happened, and yeah, wow. That just- that worked out real well. Hey Siri, make a note. What do you want it to say? Day 25. I tamed a dog. Okay. I created a note. Day 2518 the dog. Yeah, good job. That's exactly what I said. Like on day 14, my notes just say, quote, I found a designer light. I, I, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Designer light. It, it looks like I just worked on making walls. You know what's better than walls for keeping creepers away? cats, okay? And, uh, it is not easy to get a cat in Minecraft. These things, they wanted absolutely nothing to do with me. Every time I try to grab one of these guys, just run away. Doesn't matter what I tried, they hated me. So it was back to building walls for me. Hey, but you know what? By day 16, the compound was, it was starting to look pretty good, my man. It's pretty good. The, the compound, it needed a lot of cobblestone. It needed a lot of cobblestone. So on day 17, I went back down into the mines to get some. And I was just hoping to God that I would not run into any creepers down there since I didn't have a cat. After spending some time in the mines, it's dark down there. It was... it wasn't good down there. After getting that all done and, and, and building, and the, by the end of day 18, the walls of the compound were finally up. Hey, but you know what, that doesn't matter much, because there was still so much work to be done. So during day 19, I worked on the compound even more. Between day 20 and 24, I worked on building my house within the compound. It wasn't anything fancy, just a little room in the corner, but no house is complete without a dog. So, you know what, on day 25, I tamed a dog and named him- What, what, what did I even name the dog? I, I, I don't even know. With the history of coming up with names like Mata Tutu and Laminate? Who knows? Who knows what I named this guy? Let me just see what I- what did I- what did I name? Let me check the footage. Okay, you. Your name is... What'd you call him, Sonia? Mr... Mr. Spikes? Mr. Spikes, but it's a dog. Oh. Mr. Spikes, there he is. I wish I could have more than just him, but he'll do for now. So I spent day 26 looking for more resources. It- yeah, it was- it was boring. But whoa! Oh, my good old friend Motion Sickness returned. So I'm taking a break right now because... I am quite motion sick. I only got to play for about 30 minutes that time, and uh, whew, I do not feel good. But look, clinically shown to help prevent nausea and vomiting associated with motion sickness and or seasickness. That's what I got, motion sickness. It says one every four hours. What about one every hour? Is that okay? Wow, it's day 27 and I'm finally feeling safe in my compound. The walls are up so I can completely drop my guard and not have to worry about anything. That was really close. Holy crap. Oh my god. I almost just died. All right, hey, I uh, should be dead, but no, I'm not. So you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up some torches. Then there won't be any more bad boys. All right, there. Not a goddamn chance anything is getting in here. Not a single person. By the end of day 29, I had a roof on my house, and uh... it's bad. It is bad. I spent day 30 mining, and you know what? <laughs> I found some more diamonds, my man's. Hell yeah. Day 31 was spent working on my ugly, ugly, dirty house. Trying, just hoping to God I can make it look better. I had like 70 days to go and you know what? I wasn't gonna live in some ugly dump like this. 
Day 32 was the same. I just worked, worked my hands down to the bones, trying to get this house to look nice. But by day 33, yeah, things were getting close to being done. I wanted to make this porch roof out of campfires like I saw some other people doing online. Their, their houses look so good with these things. Uh, but <laughs> wouldn't you guess what happens when I try to, when I try to make the campfire porch roof? Yeah, it just looked, it looked terrible. It looked horrible. And who, whoa, whoa, look, this guy also came to my head. What is this thing even? Some like, king zombie? Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna have that guy walking around my house. That spooky zombie made me realize that I need to, I need some more defenses for the compound. I need, I need to keep this, uh, this place needs to be safe. So you know what I did? I realized I was gonna build an iron golem. These guys are great. You get these things up and running, ooh, they're good. They're gonna defend you forever. The problem is, is that you need a lot of iron to make one. So you know what I did? Yeah, back down into the mines. Gotta get some iron. And the very next day, I just, I guess I completely forgot that that was my plan because I just, I just didn't do that. I went and I, it looks like I went exploring and I, uh, I ended up in a desert. Oh, yeah, it, oh, oh, I remember, yeah, it had a village and yeah, I, I almost died here. I complete, I went into a cave to, to try to get another cat and it collapsed on me. Oh no. Day 36. You know, you know what I did? I explored the nearby area and then I went into a dungeon. Four chests. Yeah, if there was four of them down there and they were totally unguarded is what I would say if I wasn't a massive, if I didn't have a big brain like I do. Yeah, I knew there was TNT underneath this thing. I saw that pressure plate right there in the middle. So what I did was I just dug down beside the chests, got all the loot and got out without a problem. Me from a few months ago would have stepped right on that, not right on that pressure plate and been blown to bits. Nah, it didn't happen. I got out of there. No problem. And I also got a saddle, which was pretty good. On my way home on day 37, I stopped by a sunken ship, and it had suspicious stew. Yeah, not a goddamn chance in hell I'm eating that. Throw that right into the ocean. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not eating suspicious stew. Who would eat that? Who, who's a big enough idiot to eat suspicious stew? I'm not me. Not me. When I got home, I tried to use the saddle I found on a horse. And you know what? The horse refused me. How? I don't know how to use any animals in this game. I tried it on another horse. None of the horses wanted my saddle, and it, it honestly made me sad. I swear to God, if, it, if I have to use it on the donkey, I swear to God. Not even you? So for the 37th night in a row, I went to bed feeling so very alone. Hey, day 38 was great. Okay, let me tell you about day 38. I found six, okay? Six diamonds. Six! I was a rich, 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 lonely, rich man. Very rich and very lonely. So the next day, I built a diamond pickaxe, and... You know what? I still couldn't stop thinking about all the rejection I had faced. The loneliness? It was unbearable. So you know what I did? I came up with a plan. Okay? A foolproof plan to cure loneliness. And by day 40, I was ready. Alfonso? Uh, which one is Alfonso? You're Alfonso. This might seem inhumane right now, but trust me. A better home than where you are right now. It's better. It's only because I love you that I need you. Okay? No, 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 don't go that way, don't go that way. Don't go that way, don't go that way, don't go that way, don't go that way, don't go that way. You don't want to go in the water, you do not want to go in the water. You don't want to go in the water. You want to go to my house. Perfect! Perfect, my man, here we go. Look, on land, I am king. Through the doors. Perfect, rotate your shell. Yep. All the water you could ever imagine, and guess what? It's gonna get bigger, because I'm gonna make it an underground... ...aquarium facility. State of the art. Bingo! You're here! You are here, Alfonso. Get in the water. You love it in the water. You love it, you love it, you love it, you love it. Good, now I just, this is gonna look a little bit shocking for a few minutes. Oh, oh, oh! Alfonso, no, no! Sonia said this is cruel. I say it's good. There we go! How oh, you love it, you love it, don't ya? Ah, state of the art pool. And guess what? I'm gonna try to cram a dolphin in here too soon. It's gonna be SeaWorld. But I wanted more. So I took another turtle on day 41. And I, I have no idea what I named this guy. Let's, let's just see what I named him. 
Hey, Alfonso, I got you a friend. This guy's name is, uh, Lapadugu. What is with these names? Woohoo! Remember that iron golem I wanted to make on day 34? Well, on day 42, s multiple days later, I remember that that was my goal. And, uh, boom. He was alive, okay, my mans? I named this guy Igor. I remember that. I remember Igor. But even still, my loneliness remained and my desire to fill my compound grew stronger. So during day 43, I went out and I tamed multiple dogs, okay? At this point, I had like a pack of dogs and I brought them all back to my compound. Then I did some farming and yeah, you know what? That was nice. Day 44, I went to the village and turned this armor making guy into an ATM machine so I could use him whenever I needed. Then he wanted some coal, so you know what I said, hey man, hell yeah my man, I'm gonna go out and get you some coal, come back and this is gonna be good. You're an ATM, I'm a guy, it's gonna be good. So on the next day, I traded him all the coal he wanted and he gave me a bunch of iron helmets. No idea what I was gonna do with those, completely useless. So I just, uh, I put them in a chest and uh, that was that. That's where they stayed for the entire rest of this. Enchanting. It scared me, okay? I, I did not understand how it worked or how you did it. I didn't know what you needed, how you, I, I, I knew nothing about it. But that all changed on day 46, when I used Google and uh, learned that I needed to make an enchanting table which required books and that meant I needed to Yeah, I learned all about it on day 46 with Google. Should have done that a long time ago. So, on day 46, I built a boat and I headed out to sea. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. This is... I'm getting so motion sick. Oh my god. Okay, I, I gotta stop. Hey, if you're thinking about doing something like this, um, don't do it. Just don't do it. It's, it's not a good idea. I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke about this, but there, I'm just suffering. I'm suffering at this point. I don't even know what day I'm on. My eyes are burning. The thought of the headset itself makes me nauseous. Uh, I'm dreaming about Minecraft at this point. I'm dreaming in VR. I keep seeing villagers. They're, they're, they're quite literally haunting my dreams at this point. Um... Hello? Ah. Day 47, a wizard showed up in my house and you know what? I let loose on the sky. I was not having any of this. I released the hounds. My dog's gonna get him. There we go! Good boy! <laughs> Fantastic boy! After that ordeal, I went to the village and I made some deals with the armor guy. Also, one of my dogs walked into the fireplace. He, he what an idiot. He didn't die, don't worry. Idiot dog, idiot this guy. Walk out of the fire! Day 48, the ATM was asking for iron now, so that meant that I was doing some more mining. So I did that and I got him iron and uh, boom, we, it was good. We made the transaction. And that was enough to get him to max level, which is great because now I could buy diamond stuff from him if I had enough emeralds. So that, yeah, yeah hey, and I also made the enchanting table. On day 49, I started trading with the farmer. That meant I was going to need some crops, so uh, I made my farm bigger. Raiders showed up in my house on day 50, but I decided not to let them in. I mean, who who would let these guys into their house? They gave up pretty quickly, and they just walked off into the forest, and I never saw them again. Thank God. The next day, I returned back to the village with all of my crops to uh, trade with these guys, and uh, I built a, s a slightly more ethical cage uh, for the uh, the farmer than I did for the armor guy. It made me feel a little bit better about myself, about what I was doing. Uh, but then the guy wanted carrots, so it looks like I, I, start, I had to start growing carrots then. It's carrot time, baby. It is carrot time. Can you believe this? Look at all these spiders that showed up by my compound. They're just, they were just hanging around. What, 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 what is it with these guys? They, they were like trying to make spider city around my compound. No, I, of course I did not accept that. Do you have any idea how horrible it would be to live in Spider City? What, what, what type of city is that? So I, I put up a bunch of torches all around my compound, and uh, it, that, that shut that down. That shut that down right away. On day 53, I started digging this big tunnel. I have no idea why. I was just a man digging a tunnel. On day 54, I brought wheat to my prisoner farm, and uh, I planted some more sugarcane outside my house so I could start mass-producing paper. I'll be honest. On day 55, I was lazy. I, I didn't do much besides uh, some mining. What's the deal with Enderman, okay? What, w this guy just teleported into my compound, and I didn't know what to do. I don't know w whether these things are hostile, 
if what they want, what they're after, what their goal. I didn't know anything about it, so I just hid in my house, and uh, Igor took care of the guy. It was good. On day 57, in my notes, I just wrote, quote, I built this monstrosity. And, uh, I forget what it looks so... Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's bad. The next day, I lured two unsuspecting cows back to my compound, who then I would force to mate, and then I could turn their offspring into books. That's kind of dark. Uh, the next day, I did this. <laughs> well, is it that dark? Because the next day, I did the same thing with chickens, which I would plan to turn into arrows to shoot at creepers. I wasted day 60 making a compass, okay? The compass is pointless to make in VR. It does nothing. It, it does absolutely nothing. But to be honest, I didn't really need it though because uh, motion sickness prevented me from sailing too far anyways. Day 61, I just completely disregarded that, I guess, because uh, I sailed out and I found a sunken ship. Problem was, was that it was guarded by water zombies and I'm not screwing around with these guys in VR. Is what I would have loved to say. Just remember this moment. Just remember this moment right here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be matter later on in the video. My brush with those zombies made me realize that I should probably get some training in, so on day 62, I practiced with the bow. I also upped the security in the compound by planting berry bushes around the walls. And you know what? Why didn't Rick Grimes do this in The Walking Dead? Problem solved. Season 1 show over. Hey, day 63 was peaceful. I just, just did some farming and took care of my peacefuls. Uh, <laughs> My animal. I can't even think. I can't. I, I, I cared so little for these things. I, I I knew. I looked at them and I saw a book and arrow. I can't say I cared for them. Why did I write that in the script? And on the next day, I did the same thing. And then I found that you could get leather from horses. So I went on a horse murdering spree and I got a bunch of leather from them. Don't really regret that either because it, it helped me. So on day 65, I finally enchanted some of my stuff. Woohoo. That took way too long. Day 65 before I'm enchanted? What is that? From day 66 to 70, I just I just farmed and mined. It was kind of boring. Well, at least it was boring until I found two diamonds. Yeah, two. I also started working on this expansion to my compound, which was totally a waste of time because I never finished it. So what was the point of this? On day 70, I realized I was a total idiot because uh, remember when I turned the villagers into ATM machines? Yeah, that, that was a bad idea. These guys were not giving me any emeralds. They were not happy with how I was treating them, so I released them from their prisons, temporarily, mind you, and moved them to slightly larger prisons that had uh, their source block and some beds and stuff like that. And it, it, it solved. It solved the problem. I'm going to be a rich man soon. Hear that, horse? Rich as can be. From day 71 to 75, all I did was farm, make books, trade with villagers, mine, and, and work on the compound. Nothing really interesting happened until day 75. That's when I finally found out how to ride a horse. And let me tell you, I loved riding that bad boy. In fact, I loved it so much that I rode it until I got totally lost and had to spend the night in a dirty hole again. When daylight came, I got out of the hole and rode my horse back home using compound, compound using coordinates. Learn to read, Sean. Learn to read. And then I got back to my house. But I returned with uh, enough leather to finally finish making all the bookcases I need. With my fancy new enchanting table, I wanted to be level 30 before enchanting my new diamond pickaxe, so I figured the best way to level up would be to go mine, and uh, I'm an idiot. Look at this. I mined right over diamonds. I had no idea. I'd be so unobservant. I'm just a just complete idiot. I walked over diamonds. I'm an idiot. And that got me closer to level 30, but not quite there yet. So, when night fell, I left the compound with the intention to battle what horrors waited for me in the dark plains. Oh. Oh, dome them. I guess need to go after him. That's what I want. Oh! Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I had a lot of fun doing that. I had a lot of fun doing that. So I, I, I scrapped the plans to enchant my pickaxe and decided to enchant my, my bow instead. And I'm glad I did. Because I got this, I got this fire enchant that when you shoot an arrow, it, whatever it hits catches on fire. And do, do you have any idea how powerful 
that made a man like me feel. I wasted a good chunk of day 79 working on the compound expansion. I didn't need it and I, and I wouldn't finish the, it, so it was a waste of a day. On day 80, I sold all of my stuff to the villagers and finally had enough emeralds to buy not just diamond legs, but enchanted diamond legs. Take a look at these. Hell yeah, these were, these were good. These are some of the best legs you can get. I also decided that I wanted to move my enchanting table somewhere cooler, like uh, underwater. So much for avoiding that. Okay, okay. L let me tell you about day 81. It started out normal, all right? I, I collected some sand, I, I got it cooking, and then yeah, I decided, you know what, I I'm, gonna I'm gonna do a bit of exploring today. I found a distant island and I decided to check it out. Uh, big mistake. VR glitched and my boat just pulled a Chris Angel and it was gone. So there I was, at night, stranded on a foreign shore. No idea how to get home. No idea what's what awaits me. Just darkness and the enemies of the night. And you, you know what? I, I'm gonna be honest, I was scared. I panicked, I ran, and I found another shipwreck. So I climbed on top of it and I activated a uh, survivor man mode. And you know what I did? I built a raft. Well, it was a boat, but I like to pretend it was a raft and that I was in some survival situation. And uh, yeah, it was good. Actually, in retrospect, it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, but before I left, I domed this idiot skeleton from like a million miles away. Look at this. I actually considered uploading this clip to YouTube as an application to FaceClan. I'm not even joking. I was so proud of this kill. Then I just sailed away. Think that's it? Oh, hell no, because when I got home, when I got home, my house was under siege by zombies. It was like that episode of The Walking Dead, uh, No Way Out, when all, when all the zombies charge into Alexandria and they, and they gotta fight them off all night long. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Okay, that was dumb. That was dumb. Okay, they're showing up here. Oh, who's that? Okay. Okay. Where's Igor? Igor. Igor, they're in here. Igor, they broke down my door. Igor, they're not... Okay. Okay. I Igor did nothing. This guy just sat at the back, and he did not give a shit that the compound was under attack. He did not care at all. So I knew I had to do something about that. The next day, I had a meeting with Igor, and I formally issued him a warning. I told the guy that if he, if he pulled something like that again... That was it. Igor, we gotta have a chat, man. That should not be happening on your watch. Okay? Let's go. Come on, yeah, I'm pushing- You've spent, like, a week walking around this crop field. You need to get out of here. You need to go into the Because this- This is- That was unacceptable. You are borderline being fired, my man. You gotta be friggin' watching out for me. What if a creeper came into that? What if it was a creeper raid? No, 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 you're almost, just get out of the farm, man. Out of, the, like, walk somewhere else. However, my problems didn't stop there, because, uh, that evening, when I went to the village to sell some carrots, I caught this creep staring into my window at night. Get out, it, get the hell out of here. What, what the hell, who the hell do you think you are? My man, this is absolutely unacceptable for you to be trying to get a little peep on me. You've spent the night out there? Okay. No. Nope. Unacceptable. So the next morning, I, I put this guy, Tom, into a hole, and I enclosed it in glass. So now everyone in the town can look down at him with shame for being a weirdo who stares in a weird villager guy. Just a weird, weird guy. Then I went home and continued working on my soon-to-be underwater library. The next day, I headed out yet again on my boat, and I returned to the shipwreck where I built my raft. I found a treasure map, and you know what? I had absolutely no idea how to use it. So I, I gave up almost immediately, but I still wanted some loot, so I paddled over to the other sunken ship I knew about, you know, the one I told you to remember? That one, the one that I, I made a decision not to mess around with? Yeah, well, I, I paddled back over there. You know what happened? Just take a guess what happened, okay? Take a guess. I'm floating by it, I see a shiny object in the water, and I dive right in. I go for it, and... Holy... Yeah, things got bad. They got, they got bad. This, every, it was okay. I was okay. I was taking down a zombie, took down another one. I'm going up for it. And then all of a sudden, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to show you what happened. Oh. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay. There's a guy, there's a guy shooting stuff at me. 
You guys shooting harpoons at me. I didn't know they had harpoon guns. He broke my boat. <gasps> okay. Nope. It's not worth it. I just blocked it. Didn't block that one. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking. I'm shaking right now. Like I'm... I'm trembling. Holy crap. Oh, oh my god. I, uh. Oh. Yeah. I almost died there. I was so close. It's two hearts. One more harpoon. And that would have been it. It would have been over. Day 84. Right at the finish line. Done. Because some guy with a harpoon. I got lucky. I got so lucky. Not messing with zombies. Not messing with water anymore. That's what I should have thought. That's 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 what should have gone through my brain. Because the very next day on day 85. I, I just jumped right back in the water. Did a cannonball in fact. Into the bay. To continue work on my underwater library. I filled it up with sand. So that I could remove the water from it. Hey, you know what? It worked. It worked because on day 86, I removed all the sand and boom, the room was done. Next, I needed to connect the tunnel uh, in my base to that glass room. On day 87, I worked on the tunnel and I realized it was a much bigger job than I thought it was going to be. Uh, on day 88, I continued working on it for several days. I was clearing clearing stuff out and putting things up and, and making it slowly making progress. It was a lot of work. It's really boring too. Uh, but by day 94, yeah, that's a pretty big jump. I had finally connected the tunnel to the glass room. But, there was still something I was avoiding that I needed to do. Something that I had been running from and scared of since I started. Going to the nether. I needed glowstone to light up the ocean floor. So on day 95, I decided it was finally time to face my fears and start building a nether portal. By the end of day 96, I had enough obsidian and the portal was built. I stocked up on arrows and made a golden apple. Then, then it was time. It was day 96 and I was terrified of dying. I had played so much VR Minecraft in the past week, it felt like my brain was a caterpillar. What? A caterpillar? Why did I write that? W what does that even mean? A caterpillar? <clears throat> I entered the portal, and my man's. I I was scared. Okay, I was scared. Nope. I don't know what that was. I don't know what the f that is. Right here. Oh my god! What is that? Okay, that was the, the, my trip to the nether was good. That was good, that was a lot of work for that, but uh... <laughs> I went to the nether and I made it out. Let's go, baby. I was out of the nether and my mans, I was feeling alive. Let me tell you, I, I was feeling truly free, like a man who had just... God, was feeling good after I got out of that portal. I made, I got my glow test, I made, I made some glowstone and I, I, I brought it out to the ocean, I swam down, which I shouldn't have done because of the whole water thing. I placed the glowstone blocks and it lit up the ocean so nice so that when I would go to my library it looked good. And uh, you know what? It just looked great. That's truly something. By day 98, I was feeling like I did it. I was feeling like I accomplished my task and I didn't really know what else to do. So I just, I, just, I was so happy I started a forest fire by my house. But you know what? Uh, that was a false sense of happiness. Because I don't even know what to say about day 99. I, I guess at some point I accidentally installed some some mods onto my VR version of Minecraft. Instead of... I... I, I okay, it's becoming night. Okay. Since when is there Velociraptors in the game? Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Take the cow. Okay. Okay. What are you? Th this is not part of the game. 
These were not in the game before. There was not Velociraptors in Minecraft. They just killed that cow. Okay. 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 Back. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh. Okay. That's a T-Rex. That's a T-Rex. That's a skeleton. That, 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 that I don't care. Th this? Okay. That wasn't here before. Day 99. Day 99 and I die. Is that kind of, Is that... Are you kidding me? There should not be a Velociraptor in the game. I know. I'm just screwing with you. I finished it. I'm done. Day 100, I just walked around. I walked around, watched the sunset, did some fishing. It was a good day. This? Nah, this, this was... I, di I did it. It's done. It is done. It is over. It is over. I told you I'd be walking away from this as a champion. And that is exactly... That's what I'm doing, baby. It's done. It is done. That's 100. Well, you know what? I did it, okay? Sure, my compound is unfinished and my underwater library does, it doesn't it doesn't really look that great and my house is kind of bland and I kill yeah, yeah, but you know what? I'm happy with all of it. I know other people could have probably made much better use of their time and gotten further into the game, but I'm still kind of new to Minecraft and it, you know what? I'm proud I'm proud of what I achieved here and built. I, I I'm I had I, I did this in VR. This was my own hands. This was good. I want to thank Luke the Notable once again for giving me permission to try this out, and, and it, yeah, it, it was hell, but you know what? Thank you, my man. Also, big thanks to my man Wisefish for editing this video. Couldn't have done it without him. I'm gonna have a link to his channel down below, too. He's a really good guy. He makes some great videos. I want to shout him out. Uh, but thank you, and then, you know what? Thank all you guys for watching this video. This, this took a lot out of me to make. This took a lot out of me to do, and, um, but you know what? I'm glad I did it. I, I did have fun with it. It, it. it was a good time. It was a good time. I'm working on another big project like this. It involves Nintendo 64, so be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, you know, do all the stuff that you, every YouTuber asks you to do. Thank you guys for watching, I'm Sean, and I'll see you guys soon.